new converts in the foyer after church. Tomorrow night will be marriage ministry at 7 p.m. All married persons are invited to be a part of this ministry. Also, the singles ministry will be meeting tomorrow night. If you're single and you're looking a place to go, then tomorrow night is the place to be. See you at 7 p.m. tomorrow night. Converse class continue online tomorrow at 7 p.m. This Tuesday at 10 a.m. will be deliverance fasting service. Come out and be delivered. This Wednesday night will be Bible studies at 7 p.m. Friday evening at 6.30 p.m. will be youth fellowship. Please continue to support the rally groups as they raise funds towards our rally in June. This month, the NOAA group will be doing their fundraising. Today, they have popsicle on sale, cake with a bottle of water for $1,000. Good Friday service and fellowship is coming up on March 29th. Next week, Sunday, we'll be having movie night for the family, pizza and popcorn on sale. Fourth Sunday will be Rally March. This is a reminder to all the ladies who are going to the convention on Easter Monday in Old Harbor. Please give your name to Sister Almin Reed if you will be traveling on the bus. All members of Solomon Group are asked to meet in the front section of the sanctuary for five minutes with Deacon and the other leaders immediately after church. Please remember to support the Get Fit exercise session, support and contribute to our weekly radio broadcasts. Please remember to visit our YouTube platform at Spaulding's New Testament Church of God. Like, subscribe, share the link, and remember to click on the bell to receive regular notification of our programs. The Spaulding's District of Churches Family Life Department will be hosting a singles outing on Saturday, March 9th, at the view in Oligata Pond, transportation, entry fee, breakfast, lunch, costs $7,000. Come out, meet, and interact with other singles as we enjoy the day. District, netball, and football coming up shortly. The Sunshine New Testament Church of God invites the church to their annual rally on Friday, March 8th at 7 p.m., the brothers in Christ will minister and attend. Please remember to visit and pray for and support the shut-ins and the sick. Please also remember to pray for Brother Raymond Richards, who have lost a brother. The funeral service for his brother will be next week Saturday at the Andrew Hill Full Truth Church in Frankfield at 11 a.m. Birthday greetings and celebration going out. Celebrating their anniversary today is Mr. Ronald and Marie Lewis Davis celebrating their anniversary today. These persons would have celebrated their birthdays last week. Daniel Graham, Officer Raymond Richards, Brother Romeo Holness, and Sister Carleen Brown. Celebrating her birthday today is Sister Megan Wilson Copeland. Happy birthday, Sister Megan. Celebrating their birthday this week mm. is Sister Naomi Gavin, Sister Chanel Morris, Jardine Reed, Sister Kemisha Simit Brown, Sister Simone Elliott, and Sister Peter Gay Ricketts. We want to celebrate with our sister, Nardia Peart and brother Sheldon Peart over there in London, England, on the baptism of their daughter, Sister Leah Peart, yesterday at the Lee New Testament Church of God in Lewisham. They are online this morning, and we want to give them a shout out as they rejoice in the baptism of their daughter yesterday. Please remember to use the log provided 
in sending your announcements relating to your department by the latest midday on Thursday. If you don't have access to the log, a member of the PR team will send you the log. These are the announcements. Let us support and attend to those we can. May the peace of the Lord be with you and your family throughout this week. God bless you all. I must not complain how this world is treating me. For I am just a pilgrim passing through. If I was of this world, the world would love me. But very soon my change will come. Yes, the bridegroom is coming. The bridegroom is coming. The Christ is coming back for me. With a brand new body, a brand new garment. A brand new crown I shall wear Yes, a brand new name He will give me And a brand new home over there Trim your lamps, my brothers Trim your lamps, my sisters Get ready now for the midnight cry Go ye out to meet him, go ye out to greet him, soon we'll tell this old world goodbye. The bridegroom is coming, the bridegroom is coming, the bridegroom is coming back for me. With a brand new body, a brand new Away. Yes, a brand new name He will give me And a brand new home over there I must not complain How this world has treated me For I am just a pilgrim passing through The world would love me, but the soon, soon this strange will come. Yeah, oh, the bridegroom is coming, the bridegroom is coming. Yes, the Christ is coming back for me. With a brand new body, a brand new garment. New crown I shall wear. Yes, a brand new name He will give me, and a brand new home over there. Yes, sir. Oh, trim your lamps, my brothers. Trim your lamps, my sisters. Get ready now for the midnight cry. This old world goodbye. Yeah. Oh, the bridegroom is coming. The bridegroom is coming. Yeah. The bride is coming back for me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yeah, the the brand new body, a brand, brand new garment, a brand new crown I shall wear. Yes, a brand new name He will give me And a brand new home over there oh, oh, Trim your lamps, my brothers Trim your lamps, my sisters Get ready now for the midnight cry ah, Go ye out to meet him 
and praise God. Somebody lift your hands and praise God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I must not complain how this world has treated me for I am just a pilgrim passing through. If I was of this world, the world would love me. But very soon, my change will come. But very soon, my change will come. But very soon, my change Steve Anthony Hepburn's change will come. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Let me recognize our moderator, council members, deacons, choir, musicians, praise team to which Sister Hepburn is a part of, visitors, friends, new converts, ushers, children, online worshipers, I greet you well in Jesus' name. It's a beautiful day for the Lord to come again. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Let me recognize those who are worshiping with us as was mentioned by Sister Carter. Our social workers who are here, I do appreciate you choosing this church when you could have chosen many others to worship, but we're happy that you're here with us today. We pray that you'll visit here today. Amen. And we'll uh, allow you to leave inspired, edified, challenged, and ministered unto that you can continue with your mission and your work in an effective way. Amen. Let me also recognize constables. Mr. Davian Folks and Mrs. Folks, his mother, who is worshiping with us today. Amen. He has been a part of my ministry for years, and I am happy for the progress that he's making as a law enforcement officer and a skilled musician. I bless God for you, sir. Amen. God bless you in the name of Sister Folks. God bless you. 
and all the other persons who are worshiping, those who went away and you're back, Sister Johnson, we're happy that you're back with us, and all others who are here today, that you weren't here for the past couple of weeks or days, and you're back with us, I greet you well in Jesus' name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, last week we were out, Reverend Williams and myself, our partners and a few couples, a few of the married couples, we were out for the weekend. And I want to report to you that the getaway, the weekend that we spent together at the hotel was a success. I did enjoy myself and my objectives were met and I give God thanks. Amen. So we continue to pray for the marriage ministry. Sister Summon and Officer Summon, as you leave this department, we pray for you and the others who will give their and have been given their necessary support. Uh, Noah's group is having their starts, their fundraiser today. We ask that as you normally support initiatives that are geared towards kingdom building and advancement, I ask that you do so, amen, as per usual, amen. Brothers and sisters, so they have cakes, various kind of cakes, black forest cake, cheesecake, yeah, banana bread, popsicle, amen. I want you to support them and the other initiatives. And then next month, Solomon gets back on board with their fundraiser. Whatever they comes back with, we support the groups accordingly. Amen? So let's give our support accordingly. Harvest service will be next month, April 28th, the last Sunday. And I want you to start condition your minds because... I have some ideas that I want to share with you, share with the council by and then to you thereafter. So I ask you to start um, looking at that for today. Rally March is the 24th of March, I mean the last Sunday, and it is not just for one group, it is that both groups, amen, will engage in that process as we know what Rally March is all about. Amen? Baptism is this evening, and if it's one candidate, the water is troubled. And if it's two, the water is still troubled. I believe that God is going to show up and show off. So it's at 6 o'clock is baptism, 6 p.m. Baptism, baptize the candidate or candidates, then we roll into the evening service by 7 o'clock so we can finish. Amen. So we're not having baptism after the service. We're having baptism before. So we ask that the candidate or candidates and members be out by 6 o'clock so we can carry out that process and get into the service so we can come out of here pretty early and on time. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we are blessed today to have one of God's choice servant will be bringing the word and I'll be back momentarily to speak more about him. The Reverend Dante Sievright, Associate Pastor of the Maypen New Testament Church of God. One of our national speakers who spoke at our national convention last year. And we're happy to have you, sir. Put your hands together for him. <laughs> Young, energetic just graduated from the Bethel Bible College of the Caribbean and is doing exceptionally well. We look forward to hear what God has laid on your heart for us today. Brothers and sisters, I could not sit down without mention of the gospel synergy concert that comes up on Good Friday evening, March 29th, at the Knox College, Knox Community College Auditorium. Uh, it will be at a cost of $2,000 for the tickets, $2,500 at the gates, children under 12 pay at the door, and the, uh, we have gospel artists such as 
evangelist, or Bishop Easton Coburn, amen, uh, Sister Diane Henry, and many others. I don't know how my picture catch on, catch, reach on it, and I am no gospel artist, amen, but so you go. The person who is hosting this is the owner, CEO, or managing director, whichever term you want to use, of the radio stations that this church broadcasts on every Saturday. He is Bishop Dr. Wayne Graham. He is the owner or managing director, or let me say chief executive officer for these two radio stations, Adoration Gospel FM New York and Central 96.3 FM Jamaica. He is hosting this concert at Knox College, and so I'm going to ask us to support this event on Good Friday evening. Amen? So if you need a ticket, you can just speak to me. Amen? Well, Sister Marisa, these tickets are yours. All right? So if you need a ticket, if you don't remember who I said, just come back and I will tell you. Sister Marisa, the Performing Arts Director. Amen? Brothers and sisters, we continue to experience the blessings of God and the overflow and each time I get on the air and I get phone calls and messages from persons beyond these borders of how God is transforming their lives through the ministry that he has placed on me it gives me another level of energy and anointing and encouragement to go forward yesterday morning we were on the radio and saw sister called in from all the way in Bahamas that she's, she's watching. She has been a consistent follower and supporter of my ministry and more so since I've been here at Spalding. And she's a backslider, but she's cried all night, all night the day before. And she has called to say, Bishop, it is through your ministry and through what you have said and preached to me, I have recommitted my life and I am going to church. God continued to move through these online platforms into homes, into spaces, into the lives of many. And so we should not take it as simple or ordinary. We should just pray for it that God will bless and that God will continue to use these mediums, amen, to do the will of God, Some, to do his will. Somebody praise God. I, 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 I was with the Eastwood Park Road Church on Thursday night and Friday night in their crusade and the spirit of the Lord moved, the anointing moved all, both nights and for the two nights we saw 18 persons surrendering their lives to Christ. <laughs> to God be the glory. God is moving by his spirit. And I know that God will continue to move by his spirit. And I bless God. I, 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 I continue to reiterate that there are two groups of people. One I can tell you. One you will never know. Two groups of people. One in Montego Bay, New Testament Church of God, consists of about seven people who pray for me consistently. Who have pledged themselves over the years to pray for me. There's another group since I have hit spoilings. I've been observing, I've been watching. And I won't tell you where they are. They aren't here. But they pray for me three times a day because they are seeing things through the spiritual eyes. And they say, Bishop, you will not go under in the name of Jesus Christ. So when I stand, there are people who go down for me. Somebody praise God. I said, when I stand, there are people who go down for me. So when the enemy strike at the physical, when the enemy strike at the spiritual, when the enemy strike at my integrity or my character, amen, then heaven respond. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. On Christ, the solid rock, I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. Two more things and I, then I sit down. Two more things. I must allow you to know that our, pres our administrative bishop, 
Dr. Roy Notice have been given the mandate, amen, to continue to lead the church of God into the next season. We as pastors went to Mayfair and in a united way with over 70% of agreement, we says, let the man whom God has chosen continue to lead into the next four years and the 100th celebration of the church of God. We must be praying for our leader. Amen. Our leader may not be our best friend. Our leader may not be the one who we like because they may not support some of the things that we support. But if God has chosen a man, pray for the man. If God has chosen a woman, pray for the woman. Because he whom God has chosen, he will continue to protect and lead. Somebody praise God. Somebody worship God. Brothers and sisters, finally I say to you, because I know that my stint and my sojourn at churches isn't long. Amen. Seven years at contrivance, five at in and town. And it seems like they are counting down. Amen. I don't know if they're going to give me five or seven or maybe half of the five at Spaulding's. And if it's half of that, that means I'm soon to be out. In the meantime, until then, I am trying to do what I have to do until the Lord says when. Amen. So I continue to build. I continue to advance. And I have a mission. I have a vision. And I am running with it. And I am praying that God will send resources, send back up. Amen. If they can't be identified in the internal, I ask that he send it from the external. That his kingdom be advanced. That his kingdom be completed. And praise the name of the Lord. I was concerned about to my right. And now I, when you look to your left, there is a door valuing a couple of thousand dollars well that have been placed there now. Many of you are concerned. If you look, give God thanks today, brothers and sisters. We have installed, it may seem small to many, but to those of us who are up there like Deacon Williams and myself, they know what it costs to put a door there. It's not a simple door. It's call, it cost well over $200,000. And I want you to pray for us and protect these. And some of you can't see, but the administrative block is now 95% finished. Amen. Because we worked from two, three weeks ago, and I give God thanks. Some of you will not may be able to go up there, but if you go there, the pastor's rest is next to like a hotel of five-star Amen. Because I have spent, I have deposited, and don't ask me, when I deposit some of my resources and cash into the building and the development of God, God is going to bless me. God is going to open doors, and God is going to provide for me. Amen, somebody. Pray for me. I need your prayers. My wife needs your prayers. Oh, her mother, my mother-in-law, is severely ill and we are going through a tight phase and series. We need your prayers. Pray for us. Pray for her. Amen. As we go through. And like us at any other time, Church of God, I beg you. Amen. If there are ten or five people who will pray genuinely for me, but not with just words. Amen. That will allow me and allow others to feel good. But you genuinely pray for me. And pray for my ministry because you love me. Go ahead and pray for me. God bless you. I love you. Bless the Lord. I want to thank all the persons who have participated in the service thus far. So I'm inviting us to stand. Let's stand for a change. And we're going to sing the chorus of this hymn, Victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. In Jesus, my Savior forever, he sought me and he bought me.
Officer Annette Thompson, and she'll be coming to lead us into the Declaration of Faith, after which a member of the Social, work, the social Workers Department sorry, will come to bring up greetings. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Can we stand, my brothers and sisters, as we stand to declare what we believe in? If you got a sheet, it's on one side of the sheet, but just in case, you can read from the monitor or from the screen up there. Let's go. We believe in the verbal inspiration of the Bible, in one God eternally existing in three persons, namely the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of the Father, conceived of the Holy Ghost, and born of the Virgin Mary. That Jesus was crucified buried and raised from the dead, that he ascended to heaven and is today at the right hand of the Father as the intercessor, that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, and repentance is commanded of God for all and necessary for the forgiveness of sins, that justification, regeneration, and the new birth are wrought by faith in the blood of Jesus Christ. In sanctification subsequent to the new birth, through faith in the blood of Christ, through the word and by the Holy Ghost. Holiness to be God's standard of living for his people. In the baptism with the Holy Ghost, subsequent to a clean heart. In speaking with other tongues as the Spirit gives utterance, and that it is the initial evidence of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. In water baptism by immersion, and all who repent should be baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Divine healing is provided for all in the atonement, in the Lord's Supper and washing of the saints' feet. In the premillennial second coming of Jesus, First, to resurrect the righteous dead and to catch away the living saints to him in the air. Second, to reign on the earth a thousand years. In the bodily resurrection, eternal life for the righteous and eternal punishment for the wicked. God bless you. Amen. Bless the Lord. At this time, we're going to be asking the children to make themselves um, ready to get over to Children's Church. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. We sing the song, Jesus Love Little Children. Hallelujah. Children, are you ready? Can you stand? Get ready. Grab your stuff. It's time to go and have church. Jesus Love. 
of the little children, all the children of the Love the little children of the world. Oh, Jesus loves the little children. All the children of the world, whether they are black or white, all are precious in His sight. Jesus loves the little children. loves the little children, all the children of the world, whether they are black or white, all are precious in His sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Hallelujah. The social worker representative. Good morning. Greetings and salutations from the social workers. As I joyously celebrate, sorry, as we joyously celebrate Social Work Month under the theme Empowering Social Workers, I extend heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you who tirelessly continue the noble cause of enhancing the well being of our communities. Your dedication and passion truly exemplifies the essence of social work. I am immensely grateful to Reverend Hepburn and the Spalling's New Testament Church for graciously hosting us for our annual church service. Your warm hospitality provides a fitting culmination to our month-long festivities, marking a period of reflection, appreciation, and collective empowerment. Throughout the month, Social workers across the, islands, across the island have been engaged in various activities aimed at celebrating the invaluable contribution we make locally and globally. From the community outreach programs, to educational in initiative, our wavering commitment has not gone unnoticed. Together, we stand united in our mission to make a positive impact on the lives of those we serve. Social workers are the hearts and hand of our, hands of our communities, tirelessly serving and addressing for those in need. We enter the profession because we, are true, we truly want to help others. We go through years of education and training and supervision so we can do the delicate but important work of meeting people where they are and helping them to achieve their goal. goals. We are trained to help individuals, families, communities, and even the larger society overcome challenges they are facing. As we gather at the Spalling's New Testament Church to give thanks and share in the spirit of unity, let us reaffirm our dedication to the principles of social work. May this annual church service serve as an inspiration and motivation as we continue our vital work in the months and years ahead. Once again, thank you to Reverend Hepburn and the Spalling's New Testament Church for opening your doors to us. Your generosity and support amplifies the sense of community that lies at the heart of our profession. Here's to empowering social workers, fostering change, and making a lasting difference in the lives of those in need. Welcome, social workers. I want to thank Officer Thompson for leading us in the Declaration of Faith and a hearty thank you to all the social workers who are here with us this morning. Thank you for choosing the Spalding New Testament Church of God. At this time, we will be having an item from the Young Men's Ministry Group, after which we'll have the offering being collected and that will be conducted by the officer in charge, is Minister Salmon. So 
this is my leave. Thank you for having me this morning to be your moderator, and I hope that you'll have a wonderful rest of the service. Check one, two. Check. Check. Check one, two. Check. Check. Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, and wo the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Yo, Tyrese, pre two question. Mm -hmm. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart. Or who shall ascend and stand in his holy place? Who that who hath not sent his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, of course. Brother, he shall receive the blessing from the yes, Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. And, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, mm -hmm. that seek thy face, O Jacob. Mm -hmm. See ya. <laughs> See ya. Lift up your head, O ye gates. Be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall, shall come. come. All right, guys. Terrys, mm -hmm. who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle, brother. Come on now. Lift up your heads, yes, sir. O ye gates. Mm -hmm. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. Yes, sir. And the King of glory shall come in. Preach, sir. Preach, preach. It's, it's like, it's obvious, bro. Come, come on. on now. He is the king of glory. All right, guys. I think I'm getting what you're saying. But I have this one final man. question that I have to ask. Oh, my God. Jesus. Who is this king of glory? The Lord, the Lord of hosts. He, he is the king of glory. <sighs> See you now. It takes men to stand up here and did what they just did. Put your hands together again for them. Bless the name of the Lord. Them know where they do. And they know who they are talking about. They now practice nothing or perform anything. They are saved and sanctified. They are indeed son of the soil, and we bless God for them. Amen? Bless the name of the Lord. My name is Barrington Salmon, and I'm here just to lead you into worship and giving this morning. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen? And those who are online, I believe they're going to be running the way in which you can give. Bless the name of the Lord if you are abroad. As my mom and grandma say, may I always talk about grandma? Say, so if you are abroad and you want to give towards this ministry, they're going to be running across um, the screen how you can give. And those who are here, and some people don't like carry cash. The card machine is up and running. You can see the ushers, and they 
can in turn direct you in how you can give. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. And if you have cash in your pocket, yes, you're going to be marching up to give to the Lord. Amen, somebody? Bless the name of the Lord. I'm going to invite you to stand with me as we repeat um, this morning the liturgy. It's a way in which we pray. And it has been working marvelously in our lives. And we will continue to use it. I don't know about anybody, but I know for most kitchen, there is a special knife that you always want to use. Not true. Even when it you know, fit the purpose, but because it is so handy and so useful, you will continue to use it. And this is why we continue to use this prayer. Bless the name of the Lord, because it is working among us. Those of who were handed the sheet, it says liturgy at the top of it. I'm going to ask you to stand with me to also be running across the screen as we stand and we repeat it together. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Could you all stand with me? As the ushers will be making their way. Bless the name of the Lord. And it says, I am thankful for your mercies, O Lord. And for the honor of sowing seeds into your kingdom. As the act of my own gratitude to you, I have brought my best gift for worship. I bring you tithe and offering into your house as you have commanded in the book of Malachi chapter 3. I do so with a willing, generous, and cheerful heart. May you accept my gift like that of our brother Abel. May you bless it, O Lord, and cause it to multiply into many foes. May my offering and my tithes serve as a defense against the devourer of my resources. I decree an end to all my dry season. I decree an atmosphere of plenty in my lives and that of my family and friends. I am proving you and trusting you to open the windows of heaven over my life with job and promotion, raises and benefits, loan settlements, love gift and surprises, expansion in my business, bills decreasing and blessings increasing. I thank you that your ministering spirit are now free to minister to me and bring the necessary resources. And we say, Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Please follow the instructions of the ushers. I'm going to ask you to follow, um, to come up in the oil. So you will come up in the oil and you will exist, exit on your left and on your right. Your right, your left. All right? So just follow the instruction of the ushers as we worship together. Praise team. And if you need change, if you need change, sorry, if you need change, just speak to the usher, the one with the pen and the book. They will take your information. They will ensure that you get your change. But we ask that you, that you don't put your hands in the basket. Amen? Bless the name of the Lord. Let us worship together.
It's your season to be blessed. Right at the time when we need to hear from God. Praise God. Let me not stay here. Brothers and sisters, we have the Reverend Dante Seavright with us. And two sisters accompanied him from the Maypen Church. I'm going to ask you to stand to be recognized. Bless you, sisters. We're happy to have you. Praise God. And we have student pastor Rolando Doman, who spoke for us some time ago. Stand. He's an intern. He's a final year student and intern of the Bethel Bible College. He's at the Mandible Church. Amen. Doing internship. And so he has journeyed up to be with us today. We're happy to have you all. God bless you. Brothers and sisters, since the commencement of February, we have been having Sunday morning, Sunday evenings, crusades, and we skipped last week's Sunday, and we are back on this Sunday. Amen. Today, amen, we are blessed with one of God's choice servant. Amen. In the person of Reverend Dante Seavright. Amen. Brothers and sisters, Reverend Seavright hails from the parish of Hanover. He's a graduate of the Bethel Bible College of the Caribbean, Jamaica. He holds a bachelor's degree in theology and a minor in guidance and counseling with honors. He's a credentialed minister in the Church of God and in the associate, and he's the associate and assistant pastor at the Maypen New Testament Church of God. He is passionate about preaching the gospel and his ministry has brought him across the island of Jamaica and in the United States of America on several occasions. In, he has preached in crusades, conventions, conferences, and such the like. He, his life is guided by the philosophy that is rooted in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, 16. Woe is woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. He is also a firm believer in the balance of being a student of the word and a man who is led and empowered by the spirit of God. Hence, he is a rounded servant of God with both teaching and preaching gifts. He serves as the National Boys Ministry Director in the New Testament Church of God, Jamaica. Reverend Steve Wright is also a trained community service chaplain. He's guided by a quote from his favorite scholar, Charles H. Spurgeon. All the hope of our ministry lies in the spirit of God, operating in the spirits of men. Above all, Reverend Steve Wright is saved. He loves the Lord. He's filled with the Holy Ghost. Is anointed with the word and with power. Brothers and sisters, amen. By looking at the clock according to how it is set here at Spaulding's, we are right at the time when we should hear the word of God as according to how it is being desired here. Brothers and sisters, I say to us, right after the ministry of the sanctuary, the, the first Sunday choir, amen, or general choir, I'm going to ask us to stand and receive God's servant, Reverend Steve Wright. God bless you.
Gottes Wort. Is that a praise for God, everybody? Can the church of God just lift up their hands and give Him praise? Everybody, everywhere, just lift your hands and give Jehovah praise. Hallelujah to God. I want everybody right now to raise both hands to heaven. Both hands to heaven. Come here, sis. Come here. Praise God. Come with a mic. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God, somebody. Hallelujah to God. Hold my hands. The Lord says to tell you, when you can't pray, sing. I'm going to preach, but I have to follow God right here. When you can't pray, just sing. When you can't sing, just hum. He knows your melody. And God is touched by your ministry. Would you lift your hands and just... Would you lift your hands and stretch your hands towards this woman of God, everybody? Sing, sis, sing. Sing. Hold somebody's hand beside you. Start it, start it up. Somebody's been ministered to right now. Sing it again, say, oh, hallelujah to God. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah to God. Raise your hand, Church of God. Worship Him. For the very last time, let's just sing that out to God. Just say, oh, just say, oh. oh, 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 oh. Come on, Spalding. I know you can worship. I know you can worship. Did I say the last time I feel like ringing that out again to heaven? Somebody say, oh. oh, 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 oh. Yes. Yes. Lift your hands and praise him, everybody. Lift your hands and praise him, everybody. God bless you, woman of God. Sing. Don't stop singing. Sing. Sing. Somebody just shout to her. Say, sing. Say, sing. Just point your hands towards her. Say, sing. Praise the name of the Lord. Matthew 16, do not sit. Matthew 16, 13 to 19. Did I say do not sit? Matthew 16, 13 to 19. The word of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. What a God we serve. The spirit of the Lord is in the house, somebody. Can we worship him? Can we worship him? Can we worship him? Praise the name of the Lord. Matthew 16, 13 to 19. While you are searching, my brothers and sisters, I greet you well in the name of the Lord. Greetings, Spalding. The Lord bless you richly. I like the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. It gets sweeter and sweeter as the days goes by. God bless you, Church of God. As you're searching, I want to greet Bishop and Lady Hepburn. Could you put your hands together for your pastor and his wife, woman of God. God bless you. Praise God. Bishop and I shared stage recently in the National Convention. And even before that, of course, I knew him well. But I just want to give God thanks for this man of God who we have made a partnership even at the Maypen Church. He was just with us in our crusade, and what a ministry he did. Could you put your hands together and celebrate the man of God? should tell you, coming out of that crusade, we baptized 39, and God is still moving over there in Maypen. We pray, we pray that you will continue to pray for us as Bishop Small and I lead 
over there. He sends his greetings and the membership. Two members are with me, Sister Herma and Sister Abigail. God bless you. And of course, Minister Rolando Doman is with me. Matthew 16. Let's read from verse 13. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and other Jeremiah, and other one of the prophets. He said to them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto you, but my Father in heaven. And I say unto you, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. 19. And I will give to you the keys of the kingdom. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. The word of the Lord. You may be seated in Jesus' name. My brothers and sisters, I am acutely aware that we are in crusade. I'm also aware that crusade is taking the form of, you know, divine services and in the night. Permit me this morning to preach a word to you as I present Jesus to the sinners. And of course, present that same Jesus to the church as a foundation. Can I preach to everybody today? Is that all right? In Jesus' name, God bless you, church. My brothers and sisters, I want to celebrate the Young Men Ministry. Serving as National Boys Director, I want to celebrate the fact that Spalding has a Young Men Ministry going on down here. Put your hands together for them in Jesus' name. I seek your prayers Friday night. We had a rally up to minutes after 12. Last night, we had a gospel concert up to minutes after 1. Pray for me. I go to Havana Heights tonight to preach again. In Jesus' name, amen. Brothers and sisters, I want to talk to you on the theme, the church on the rock. We are in crusade, I'm very much aware, and we shall preach Jesus in Jesus' name. Brothers and sisters, over and over, people tend to echo that the church in this era seem to be a failing church. There are others that suggest that in years to come, they are not sure what the church will be. They are people of the genuine view that the church may just lose it. And as I prepared to speak this word, I stumbled upon an article from Pastor Donald Peterson in 2017. He says, it seems like the church is constantly wearing down or the church is being torn down. He says, attendance seemed to dance and attendance seemed to waver. He said that families move away and over and over bigger congregations tend to take away members from the smaller ones. He says rifts develop and even conflict raises its ugly head. There are some congregations that even suffer horrible scandals. There are some church that run out of money and even close down. There are even some members that are leaving heartbroken. And who will we really blame for people who wonder if the church will survive? But brothers and sisters, I like the change in his writing. As he moves on, he says, however, though we are faced with these challenges, he says, Christ's church will stand forever. Somebody's turning me down. He says, Christ's church will stand stand forever. My brothers and sisters, Christ's church will never fail. Not because, hallelujah to God, because it's not a physical building. Christ's church will never fail because it's not limited to a particular place. This was not the sound I had when I just began. Brothers and sisters, Christ's church will never fail, not because of who the bishop 
faith is. Neither will Christ's church fail because of who the pastor is. Thank you. But Christ's church will never fail because the church of the living God is built upon Jesus Christ. The church of God cannot fail because at the root of the church is a man called Christ Jesus. Can somebody praise the name of the Lord? Brothers and sisters, I want us, as I lay a foundation to know that our text in focus, it embellishes the truth that Christ's church is an unfailing church. The text, brothers and sisters, finds itself in Caesarea where Jesus come to Philippi and Jesus says to disciples, I have a question I've been longing to ask you. Whom do men say that I am? And they, they answered Jesus. They said, Jesus, we have been walking about. We have heard some people say that you seem to be Elias. We have heard some people say that you seem to be Jeremiah. We have heard some people say you seem to be one of the prophets. But Jesus brings home the question. As I've heard what you say that people are saying. But I have another question for you. You have been walking with me. Whom do you say that I the son of man am? Can I preach about this son today? And when Jesus asks, the Bible said Peter, he did a great job at answering. Peter says, I know the answer. You are the Christ. Oh, somebody praise God. The son of the living God. Peter says, you are the Christ child. But Jesus was pleased with the answer. Jesus said to him, blessed are you Simon because flesh and blood did not reveal this to you but my father which is in heaven. Brothers and sisters, that was a good platform for Jesus to establish his church in the world. Brothers and sisters, I could do a whole exegetical work on the answer Peter gave. I could do a homiletical presentation on the place where he answered. I could do an expository sermon on the power behind the answer. But God sent me to Spalding to tell somebody that this church is his church. Oh, somebody praise God. And that the same foundation that the church is built on is the same foundation a sinner man can accept. Who is that person? His name. Oh, somebody praise God. It's Jesus Christ. The church cannot fail. The people cannot fail. This community cannot fail if it is built on Jesus Christ. Can somebody praise the name of the Lord? Oh, somebody praise the name of the Lord here. Brothers and sisters, it is, it is my assignment to talk to you today. I tell you two things about the church and tell you about Christ and take my seat. Brothers and sisters, when we look at the text, there are two things we can recognize about the church that is established by Christ. One, the church has a solid foundation. Word may I preach today, the man. The church has a solid foundation. Brothers and sisters, I try to move around a lot of sermons. I really don't know what's happening, Spalding. But this is the word God is leading me to share with God's people. The church has a solid foundation. That's the first thing we realize in the text. The church has a solid foundation. Preach. 
future. Where did you get that from? I say to you that you are Peter and upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Take your time with me. Let's have some word. Upon Peter's accurate confession that Jesus is the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus, as it were, brothers and sisters, he told Peter, hold your answer. He said, Peter, hold on by your point because I like the answer that you gave and I'm going to do something with your answer. Peter said, you are Jesus. Peter said, you are the Christ. Jesus said, hold on, Peter. I like your answer. I'm going to make something out of it. Jesus, look at Peter. We're talking about solid foundation. And when Jesus looked at Peter, Jesus said, thou art Peter. And upon this rock, oh, somebody help me preach here. I'm going to build my church and the gates of hell. Oh, somebody praise God here. Shall not prevail against the church of God. The church is solid. The church is on a rock. Oh, God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Spalding, you are built up on a rock. Oh, somebody praise God. I really don't want to get ahead of myself because I want to preach this word to you. Thou art Peter. I have to teach, preach today. This word, me teach, preach. Thou art Peter, follow me. Minister Rolando, when he said, Thou art Peter, there is some conflict in the text because Peter names mean rock. The word Peter means rock. And so Jesus, look at Peter. Oh God Almighty, can I tell you the church not built by no man? Him look upon Peter. He said, Thou Thou art Petros. Petros. Oh, somebody praise God. A small rock. Oh, somebody help me preach, man. Peter, you are Petros. Jesus said you are one rock. You are a pebble. But Jesus go further. I said, but upon this rock, Petra. Jesus Christ, Almighty God. Oh, somebody praise God up in here. Jesus changed the Greek word. I say, you are Petros, but my church is not built on you. The church is built on a boulder rock. The church is built on a big rock. And Peter is a pebble. Can I tell somebody that the church cannot fail because upon this rock, Oh, somebody praise God. I will build my church and the gates of hell. It cannot prevail. Come hell. Come high water. Come witchcraft. Come demons. Come devils. The church of God. It just cannot fail. This old ship bishop has been through battles before. Storms and temptations and rocks on the shore though the whole may be battered with a small in church down inside is safe and dry it will carry its cargo to the port or oh, somebody have a preacher party let the church or oh, somebody help me here be the church let the people rejoice. We have settled. Oh God, something I'll mash up, you know. We have settled the question. We have made our choice. Let the anthem, oh somebody praise God, ring out songs of victory as well. Slap somebody. I say the church triumphant is alive and well. 
God Almighty, what you're doing here. Somebody praise God in morning. The church is well because it's built on God. Holy Ghost, what you're doing here? The church is well. The church is well. The church is well. Lift up your hand, church of God. I say the church is well. The thing all right. The church is well. Oh Lord God Almighty, church is well. Teach preacher in Greek. In Greek, the Peter's name is Petros. I don't know what I'm doing, you know. Mommy, just a preach the word here. I let the Holy Ghost do the rest. The church is well. What is still in a falling man? Lift up your hand, church of God. I say, Lord, today I commit that your church is well. Oh, Lord God Almighty, Jesus Christ. Why? Why? Preacher, where's the part for the sinner? The church is well because it's built on Jesus. Anything that must be well must be built on Jesus. Can I talk to a sinner man? If you want it well, you must come to Jesus. You must stand on Jesus because on Christ, the solid rock. Oh, somebody help me in the church here, man. All of the great is sinking sun. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but only lean on Jesus' name. Somebody call Jesus up in here today. Hey. Hey, somebody worship God in Spalding. Lift up your hands and praise God. The church is well. Oh Lord Jesus, upon this rock, I build my church. Oh Lord Jesus. So thou art Peter, Petros. But upon this rock, Petra, I build my church. I build my church. Listen, when Jesus said upon this rock, Petra, it spoke to a collection of rock knitted together to form a larger slab. So in other words, when Peter says, thou art the son of the living God, he man said, me like the confession there. May I go do something with that. You are only one person, Peter. You are one person who says, I am Christ. But you know how the church is going to build up? When a lot of people say you are Christ, then the Petrus becomes a Petra. So the church is built on the confession that Jesus is Lord. Preacher, how you reach there? Cinnamon, how do you get saved? You must confess that Jesus Christ, he is Lord. Oh, somebody praise God. I hear Philippians says, but he humbled himself. He thought himself of no reputation. He was obedient even to the cross. Can I preach confession? So wherefore God has highly exalted him. You read Bible down here. And given him a name that is above every name. At the name of who? Jesus. Every knee must bow. Every tongue must confess that Jesus. Jesus Christ, He is Lord. I saw the church building. Oh, when you say He's Lord, you say He's Lord. I say He's Lord. A big slab come together, Petra. Petra. 
Petra, so this church we are asking Cinnamon to join. It's not a lodge house, talk to me. It's not a bomb yard, talk to me. It is an organization not built on the bishop, not built on the district overseer, not built on the preacher. But this church is built on Jesus Christ. Oh, somebody praise God. Oh Lord Jesus Christ. Catholics, the Catholic hold that the church is built upon Apostle Peter. The devil is a liar, Bishop. Could have built upon Peter. Nobody would get saved because Peter is feeble. I don't know what I'm doing down here, you know. We no better watch who the thing built upon, you know, because Peter is feeble. In Matthew 16, the same Peter who just say he's Lord. Hallelujah to God. Jesus says, I'm going to the cross, Peter. Peter said, you look like you're mad, you know, Jesus. Which cross you go? Jesus said, you didn't name Peter some seconds ago. Get thee behind me, Satan. Don't be in the church on Peter. The same Peter, he denied Christ about three times. A little girl saw him and said, you know, Jesus. Peter said, oh no, the church cannot be built on Peter. But the man I come to preach, the church is built on him. His name is Jesus. Oh, how I love him. Can somebody call his name? Can somebody lift him up? Can somebody worship him? Can somebody exalt him? Can somebody shabak him? Jesus! He's coming to your rescue. Jesus is Lord over Spalding. Jesus is done in Spalding. We the town tell the people that Jesus is Lord. We dispel, we upset every other spirit, every demonic utterance, every devilish altar. A God runs falling, a Jesus runs falling, a Jesus church, a Jesus ministry, a Jesus a Lord. Oh, somebody praise God. Can the church lift up their hands? I say every high thing must come down. Every stronghold. Oh Lord God, somebody help me. Somebody help me around here. Lift up your hand, church of God. I say every high thing. The church is built on Jesus. And the church has a message about Jesus. Preacher man, what's the message? About 2,000 years ago, Jesus said he can't stay so. Jesus saw that the sins were too much. Jesus saw we need a sacrifice. And Jesus said, I must go to the cross. Do you know this is what crusade is about? Just telling people the gospel message. And when Jesus went to the cross, there was a word in the Jewish called Tetelestai. It means it is finished and Jesus understood it. It was a business language. When you finish pay for a loan, they would stamp it Tetelestai. The loan is paid for. Jesus went on the cross. Jesus stretched out him hand and said Tetelestai. Oh Lord God Almighty. I'm paying for your sins. Your sins are no more. Jesus can save you today. If you're fornicate, I can save you. If you're adulterer, I can save you. If you walk away, I can save you. If you sleep with enough money, I can save you. Can somebody praise him here? Jesus Christ is Lord. solid foundation. Oh, somebody praise God. So he says, upon this rock I will build my church. He used personal pronoun. I 
will build my church. Brothers and sisters, let the devil talk. Let the demons roar. This church is Jesus' church. And this church have the answer for the community. The answer is Jesus. The answer is the Lord. The answer is the Savior. Can I mash up something down here? Everybody that want to acclaim ownership of this church, the Lord send me to you. It's God's church. I know Bishop run church. I know your grandfather run church. I know Archbishop run church. I don't care who give the land. I know them run church. I don't care who dedicate it. I know feed them church. The church I'm a part of is a Jesus church. Lift up your hand, church of God. I see a God church. Slap somebody. I see I your church. And can I mash up the summer? I know your church. The church is built on Jesus Christ. I know your church. Oh, somebody praise God up in here. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hey. Hey. Hey, Spalding, let the church make God work. Let the Holy Ghost make Him work. I know your church. La kona makasata la baketoria. I feel God in here. Touch somebody. Touch somebody. I say I know your church. I know your church. I know your church. I got church. I got church. Blood of Jesus in a spot. In. Oh, some people not go worship because they want church. I know your church. It's God's church. Oh Lord God, somebody praise God in Spalding. Somebody praise God up in here. It's God's church. Hey. Bishop, I've gotten so mature in preaching that I learned if nobody say amen, I still preach. Because some word people don't want to hear. A deliverance you come for, man. A jump in your come for, blood of Jesus. I know your church. Some people want to dictate the move of the church. It is God's church. Sermon, you mash up, you know, because I hear the Holy Ghost. Anybody, I come to warn you, take your hand off. This sermon was written for Spalding, you know. Come and preach it on me some weeks ago. So, anything the Holy Ghost, I do the Holy Ghost. Can I just give that disclaimer? It is not your church. People must get saved in a church. You don't determine who gets saved. You don't determine who lead. You don't determine what keep. It's God's church. Blood of Jesus. Can somebody wear the Holy Ghost and I show the blood of Jesus? Every attachment, every demon he called. It's God's church. Hey, Lord God, hey, Lord God. Hey, Reverend Doman, I want to move on with this up here. I have a whole two-point sermon, but it's God's church. Oh, God Almighty. Hey! You know who have the receipt for the church? Uh, Jesus have it. Where is the receipt? You can check his hand middle. Where is the receipt? The invoice is in his side. A uh, Jesus church! Blood of Jesus run your son, man. Let God sing I'm a Jesus run him church. It is God's church. Can I run a little bit more? Come on, exegete or something. I'm not jump up. We don't know. We don't get no word. The church is built on a solid foundation. But in the text, Bishop, 
under the solid foundation, Jesus gives ownership to his church. He says, upon this rock, I be my church. It goes without saying personal pronoun. And then he moves on from ownership to opposition. And he says, and the gates of hell, oh God Almighty, shall not prevail. Oh, somebody praise God. Bishop, for years, I understood this text wrong. Because when the Bible says, upon this rock, I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail again. I always think that it is the hell coming at us, and we, and we, and then can barge in on us. But that's not what the text mean. The text mean, Bishop, that the church is built. Hallelujah to God. To at attack hell and the gates of hell can't withstand when we are come so Jesus demonstrated he went down to hell and somebody asked her who out the door Jesus said out there then you don't know it's who out here lift up your heads blood of Jesus in a small day now. oh ye gates and be lifted up you have a lasting door and let the king of glory Come in, I'm church. I want bright demons say, Who is the Kalabakosata? This king of glory, the Lord. Don't somebody say, Let in Jesus, let in Jesus. There are souls to be saved, let in Jesus. There's a miracle to be done, let in Jesus. It is his church. Uh, what kind of cruise here message is Woo! 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 Why? Lord of Jesus today. Jesus church. Jesus church. Jesus church. Jesus church. It's Jesus church. Somebody praise God up in here. So, so, the gates of hell can't prevail. When we are pressed against hell, the gate must help my man. The hell, the gate can't withstand when we are come. Oh, somebody praise God, Bishop. Humbly, sir, you're a bishop. All I am is an exhorter. But can I tell you, the gates of hell, don't you, sir, cannot prevail against you. Witchcraft gate, tell me, yes, sir. Witchcraft gate. Who be a gate? Talk to me. Lodge gate. Talk to me. Pundika more gate. Talk to me. Black magic gate. Talk to me. Envy and malice gate cannot prevail. Can I tell you something? This church can't fail. We are. Hell cannot win. The church may be under pressure, but the church can't lose. For the gates. I'm going to run on a little bit more. Of hell. Cannot. You see the word in text? not is the Greek strong negative. It means the possibility of the gates prevailing is absent. It is obsolete. It is like saying, Bishop, I'm going to church. But if I ever slip in the word not, it means all possibility of church attendance is now out the door. You don't believe me? Well, Jesus says, if you eat from the tree, you go dead. Satan says, you shall not. Surely die and the word mess up. The world has been messed up since then. There is power in the word not. I shall not die. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. It's a strong negative. Will I come to tell you upon this rock he builds his church and that same not the gates of hell shall not prevail. Let me run a little bit more here. Can't, can't expose this thing as much as I want. I want to 
ought to pray for some people. And I have some things to say. So let me just say the last thing and wrap up. That the church has a solid foundation. Point one. Just, just cruise, we are cruising. You know. Point one. We are teaching Bible study and preaching. The church has a solid foundation. Number two. The church has supernatural functions. That's number two. Where did you get that from, preacher? And I will give to you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Supernatural function. And whatever, oh Lord God Almighty, and whatever you bind on earth, talk to me, will be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth, it will be loose in heaven. Oh, preacher, you came to crusade. I came with a key because this is how we ending today. We are going to stretch our hands soon across Spalding. And we are loose up some people's house. And we are buying up some people something. In the name of Jesus Christ, the church has supernatural function. Let me get to some word first. Listen, some people think Peter has the authority to admit people to heaven or keep them out of heaven. No, the devil is a liar. This is the basis. That's every time you see Peter in a cartoon or in some printed book, you see him with a key standing at the pearly gates. No, no, go so. Peter, that's not why we get keys. What he was saying, Bishop, is that the earthly church has heavenly access. We are not normal. Our source is big. Our links is tall. If we bind it down here, then heaven must bind it. If we lose it down here, then heaven must lose it. Oh, somebody praise God. Touch somebody and say we have supernatural function. Can I run on home? The Jewish rabbis and the Jewish court people. Come here, deacon. Come here, sis. Come here, man of God. Stand up beside me. Must get the thing here before we leave, you know. Turn around. In the Jewish, any time you enter in the court system for being guilty of something, the judge stands. So you're the judge. And you are guilty. You are guilty. The judge, therefore, would say, Deacon Johnson, raise your hand. I lose you from that offense. Or what's your name? Akila, lift your hand. Akila, I bind you. To that offense, talk to me. Oh God, I've heard this text preached so much time, and I never know this is what it means. So Jesus understood the law of the times. Jesus was steep in his legal theology and information. Jesus said, Peter, me realize that the judge them round down here, but I'm about to leave a church on heaven, and I have something I want to give you, Peter Spalding. God sent me with a gift for you. He says, Spalding, I give you the keys to the city. I give you the keys to the community. With the church, if you help me. Whoever you bind, it means you. You lock them up. Whoever you lose, it means you free them. Jesus said, well, as of today, I know the courthouse have the power there again. I am giving that power to the church of God. Whatever you bind on earth, it is bound in heaven. Can somebody lose me for the last two minutes? Whatever you lose, don't you so? It is loose in heaven. Oh, somebody jump to your feet. I feel like do some spiritual work. Raise your hand in a spalding. I say, I've got my keys. I've got my keys. Bishop, lend me your key. Lend me your key. Jesus Christ. Somebody take out a key that's falling. Somebody take out a key. I stretch it out in the spirit right now. If we prohibit it, 
it can't go on. And if we permit it, it must go on. Take out your key. Oh, somebody praise God. Oh, hallelujah to God, Bishop. Uh, at Maypen, uh, when I just became pastor, uh, one day Bishop came into the office uh, and he said, Rev, here is your bunch of keys. Uh, this is the secretary office. Uh, this is so-and-so office. Uh, this is the room to the storeroom. Uh, this is my office. Uh, this is your office. Uh, but I like something about my keys uh, to go into the office, Reverend Doman. Uh, Bishop, when I turn the thing to the right, correspondence, you know, is we have the key, but I haven't had the lock, you know. And so it's a correspondence. The key needs something like it so that it can work. So Jesus says, when you enter your losing key, if you try to open the door, the lock in heaven correspond. And if you try to lock the door, the lock in heaven, it must correspond. Bishop, I don't know why you don't have face, but why Whatever your face, I come with a key to bind it. I don't permit it. We disallow it. Oh Lord God Almighty up in here. Oh somebody help me in the church, you know, man. Whatever go on in a spalding and the church will like it. We lock it up. We lock it up. We muzzle your mouth. We mash up your plan. Somebody lock it. Somebody lock it. Somebody Somebody lock it! If crime are going in the community and the church don't like it, we have the key to lock it. If Obi are prevail and the church don't like it, we have the key to lock it. Somebody take out your key and start lock some something. Call the name. Lock some something. Lock up secret society. Talk to me. Oh, somebody have a preach up in here, no man. Lock up lodge. Lock up devilish work. The Lord of Jesus! Somebody say lock it up, lock it up. Somebody say lock it up. Somebody say lock it up. Shock up life. Come on, man. No, no, no. Work with me. Oh, God. May I come home to the altar calling a sinner now? Shock up life. Lock it up, man. You must marry people in a spalding, Bishop. People will live without marriage will lock up the summer day. That demon that is holding the place. That people can't go serve God. Come on, law relationship. We lock it up. Crime and violence. We lock it up. Oh, somebody praise God here. Fornication and adultery. We lock it up. Can I preach against sin? Oh, God, can righteousness exalts a nation. But sin We lock up that We lock up that But can I lose some something and call an altar call Everybody lift up a key again I feel God in Spalding Take out your key right now Call that boy name in the name of Jesus. Come with me, musicians. Sustain, sustain. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, call your son name. Come on. Call your grandson name. Call your husband name. I lose you out of sin. I lose you out of bandage. I lose you. And we say the church is built on God. Come. Hey, God Almighty, I want to lose something. Somebody walk out to your seat. Walk out to your seat. Walk out of your seat and call a name. Walk out to your seat and call a condition. Lose it. Lose it. Lose it. Lose it. Lose it. Lose it in Spalding. Lose. 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 I lose this church. For Holy Ghost baptism, I lose this church for water baptism. I lose this church for salvation. Be thou loose. Loose. 
Loose. Loose. Grab the hand of your neighbor everywhere I'm finished. Grab the hand of your neighbor I'm finished. Holy Ghost talking to me. The Holy Ghost is talking to me. The Holy Ghost is talking to me. The Holy Ghost is talking to me. This might not be how ministry is done around here, but you just have to work with the guest spirit. May I have the mic already. You just have to work with it. This might not be how you're used to it. But it's how God wants to present. Word and spirit. Thank God for Bishop Byrne. Thank him. Thank God for Bishop. But hear me. Hear me in silence. No excitement. No mystery. Plain language. You don't have to figure it out. The church that God has planted here is positioned for the deliverance of this community. The church Jesus has planted here has a solid foundation and it has supernatural function. I am going to charge this church to know what you're about. Know what you're about. Know what you're about. There's a work to be done. Exploits in this church. But can I say something I hear strongly in my spirit? Christ church must be a united church. For they were in one place, one accord, one accord, and suddenly. The church cannot expect suddenly without synergy. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, we mash up this up. Uh huh. I am I'm as serious as a judge. Some Holy Ghost went. If you remember nothing about this church on the rock, the church on the rock cannot experience suddenly. Without synergy. It has a solid foundation. And it has supernatural function. But it can't work. Until synergy. Bishop, I, I, I believe me, I don't know me. I say. I just talk as the Holy Ghost attack. That is why I tell you that I may pen me write it for you. Then my pastor, I can't preach like that up there. But this is what God says to the church today. He that have an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord say to the churches. Bishop, I'm going to say one thing. It, it, it can be a little bit contentious. I'm going to say one thing and I'm going to make an altar call. In this altar call, I want to pray for the believers first. I want to pray for believers. A crusade, we say we have, I want to pray for believers I want to pray for believers. I, I, and I don't want to pray for, with, with any excitement or anything. I, I want us to silence our heart before God. And I want us to pray. Because, listen to me. I must say it, I'm on live stream. It can be street recorded. You see this mystery thing? Me believe in it. Ask the better. Me believe it. Believe so you can jump mystery. God, I will you know, understand it and implement it. Think me not believe it? If that. We might just be in trouble because I saw we were, Bishop. I saw we did the thing. But, Bishop, you and I know Bible like that. That if we had jumped mystery, I will regard iniquity in our heart. I'm tired, I'm not tired out of the service that's falling. Let the church be the church. Come with me, musicians, man. I mash them, mash up this up there. Let the people rejoice. Get united, get united. When you could have jumps until them, if you don't know what accord, you are playing athletics. Let the church be the church. 
stand with everybody bow your heads with me close your eyes bow your heads with me right now let the church, 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 let the church. Jesus Christ, Bishop, Lord God Almighty, God, you're messing me up. Oh, somebody praise God in Spalding. Some people need to re-hug some people. Some people need to shake back some people's hand. Can I, can I just defend myself? Just say, I don't know nothing about the church. I don't know down here. I don't wish to know. Some people need to re-hug some people. Some people need to shake back some people's hand. A man of God, I hear God say he's going to do a suddenly in Spalding. But he's waiting on the synergy in Spalding. That name of my sermon. That name of my sermon. None at all. Oh God. He's going to do a suddenly. As soon as he gets synergy. Every member of this church, bow your heads right where you are. Prayerfully. Say after me, Father. We repent that we have done some things that we should not have done. And we also repent that some things that we should have done, we have not done. Father, the message today spoke about the church on the rock. We commit today that this church has a solid foundation. And this church has supernatural function. Father, may you give us this synergy for us to experience your suddenly in Jesus' name. Hug somebody, hug somebody, hug somebody, hug somebody, hug somebody, hug somebody. Hug somebody, hug somebody. Hug somebody that's not your favorite. Oh, Lord God. Hug somebody you don't usually hug. Hug somebody. You don't usually hug that person, hug them. You don't usually hug that person, hug them. Hug them, hug them, hug them, hug them, hug them, hug them. You don't usually hug that person, hug them. You don't usually say hi to that person, say hi. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, Almighty God. Holy Ghost. Hug them, hug them, hug them. Very sustained musician. Something that go on here, so something that go on here, so something that go on here, so something that go on in a spalding. Something that go on in a spalding. God is doing a work in spalding. Hug somebody. Oh Lord Jesus, Deacon. Oh Lord Jesus, Deacon. Oh Lord Jesus, Bishop, hug me. Oh Lord Jesus, Bishop, hug me. Jesus Christ, Almighty God. He's doing a work. He's doing a work. He's doing a work. Yay! Yay! I won't give up the mic to your bishop, you know. Very sustained again, musicians. Yes! Yeah! Somebody praise God up in here. Yes! 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 I've preached way harder than this enough place already. 
And I never feel the fruit I feel I'm bearing right here teaching and preaching. I feel like something boss. I feel like something mash. I feel like something pull. Lane ya kosate ya 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 ya. I feel like something pull. I feel like something pull. I feel like something pull. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it up. When it goes and mash it up, I feel like something pull. I feel like some pull. Somebody lift up your hand. Somebody lift up your hand. Somebody lift up your hand. Somebody lift your hands up. Praise God. Something pull. Something pull. Something pull. Keyboard is something soft. Keyboard is yeah. something soft. Keyboard is something soft. You're in the house, you're not a Christian. Come touch my hand. Send you back to your seat, Charlie. Just touch my hand. You're not a Christian. You know you're not saved. Come touch my hand. Don't leave me, church. Don't leave me. Stay standing with me. Don't leave me. I won't be long. For God has spoken. Where's the praise team? So let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. For God has spoken. So let the church say amen. Let the church say Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let the church yes! say amen. For God has spoken. God has spoken. Hallelujah to God. Let the church. Let the church sing. For the very last time, let's sing it and pray. Let the church sing. Amen. Let the church sing. Amen. For God has spoken. So let the church say amen. amen. My sisters, the gospel is simple. The gospel can be summed up in one word. Jesus. That Jesus I just preached as the foundation of the church. Is the foundation of your life. I am reliably told that there's no good building that can be built unless the foundation is solid. Sis, there's a story in the Bible about a foolish man who builds his house on the seaside. Watch way. But a man who builds his house on the rock. Aye. Thank you. Listen. God is a solid foundation. Gospel can preach out of any text. Huh? Christ is a solid foundation. And he's just waiting on you guys to stand on him. You know why the things are shaking in your life? Foundation weak. You know why nothing seems like it's going how it should? Foundation weak. Foundation sandy devilish. Do you see a rocky foundation? See a strong foundation? I him pass a stand up on. I him me stand up on. I him rev stand up on. I him the church stand up on. He never fails. And sometimes you dip on the rock, you know. You shake on the rock, you know. But the rock now move. I feel a type of anointing on me to say to you guys today, 
serve God and live. Obey the prophet and live. One girl looked at me a month pill under the tent and I'll, I'll we talk to her. She said, she just said, look at me. Me give up the mic and go me out. She dead the next day and I want truck. And from them, I said, I stop wrestling with people at the altar. Me just said, ask you and if you not ask me, I preach too long for come preach again. That man I just preach about. Would any of you say yes? I'm not calling you to culture or tradition. You see all them something in your ears? Watch ya. You not see that? One, two, three, four. Me not see that. Then lucky. Nobody not see that. Stand beside me. Come here, sir. He just dead for you all a week. All a week. When discipleship starts, we touch some things. We not touch them something now. We just have said, serve Jesus. We not talk about them something now. I don't care much man, how much woman, how much. I don't care what they keep. I don't care who. I don't care who. I don't care if you're in a lodge. I don't care if you go to a man. Jesus. We just give you Jesus. We just give you Jesus. You yeah, take him? You yeah, take him? Come stand up beside me then, no man. Come yeah, on, step up, man. Clap on the church. <laughs> Mommy, you yeah, take him? Not today. You yeah, take him, sis? You no know, most man? Stand up beside me. Where is your friend? You take him? Come man, stand up beside me. Where is your little friend? You take him? Stand up beside pastor. Squeeze my hand. Squeeze my hand as tight as you can. Squeeze my hand. Squeeze it man. Squeeze me hand. Can't squeeze no tighter. The devil. The life out of you. So when you feel pressure do you have squeeze my hand? This hot when I do to you? You know hot yet? This hot yet? You know hot yet? Oh, you know feel when the devil has squeezed your heart. You are too pretty to go to hell. You are too pretty to go to hell. It's simple. No, you can't make it. Just so. The devil just got so. Jesus want to do a thing in your life, man. Let me sum up the thing in one sentence. The devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus comes so that you have life and have it more abundantly. Which one, which one sounds sensible? Tell me one good thing the devil has done for you since you're serving him. I don't expect that. Bow your heads with me, church. Let's pray for this woman. Father, thank you for your daughter. Thank you for her. I feel like you started a work in her today. I feel like a seed was planted. God, I pray for time for it to germinate. Not kill her. Not make her dead before. I need this young lady to serve God. Bless her. Cover her. Guide her. In Jesus' name. Those standing beside me that have accepted Jesus. For them. I thank you for the power of God upon their life. And may they follow through with their decision. In Jesus' name. Amen. Don't, don't move it. Sis, watch me. I'm proud of you. Yeah? Proud of you. I'm in a joke. Proud of you. Sis, shake my hand. Proud of you. Proud of you. Look at me. Bishop, get ready to take over. How old are you? 17? God has a great plan for your life. Who you want to become? Doctor, stand beside me. Stretch your hands towards our church. Come here. Devil want to mash up here, you know? Yeah, man, the devil want to mash up here. Stretch your hands towards her. No. Just say no. Just say no. 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 Oh, no. 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 No, 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 blood of Jesus, abduction, no, God, God Almighty, no, 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 sis, God's hand is upon you, serve him fast, here, proud of you, God bless you, why won't you receive your bishop, in Jesus name, bishop, Love and appreciate you, sir. The city is yours. Take it, no man. Jesus' name. Church is built on the rock. Praise God. What a word. What a word. What a word. Put your hands together for the servant of God. The church is built on a solid foundation. The church
church is built. Amen. On a supernatural function. Somebody praise God. Somebody just worship the name of the Lord. Somebody just praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Minister Doman. Thank you for praying for the preacher. Father, right now, Lord, your son has poured out today. And what he has poured out, he has gone into the belly of hell. And he has disturbed all the plots and plans of the adversary. And Lord, even now, God, Lord, rest your hand upon Dante. Lord, thank you that you have deposited in him so he could give us what you have deposited in him for us. Cover him under the blood. Let there be no backlash. Let nothing that hell orchestrate even now against him come to fruition. But we declare that no weapon that is formed against him shall prosper. Back him up with your uncommon power. Like prevent the Father that you'll anoint him with another word for the next assignment. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that your anointing is now resting upon him. I pray, God Almighty, that you will not go empty, but, oh God, you will fill him up again. Strengthen him, Lord, and help him, Lord, to be more effective as he deliver. We thank you. Bless him and anoint him and undergird him, we pray. In Jesus' name. Synergy for us suddenly. Where there's no synergy, we can't experience the suddenly. Somebody clap your hands. Where there's no unity and consistency. Amen. With loving God and building the kingdom of God and for the advancement of his work, then there can be hindrance. There can be blockage. Put your hands together yet again. For the Holy Spirit. Father, I lift up this bottle of olive oil to you. I pray that you'll consecrate it even now. Prevent the Father that to whom it belongs, Lord, will experience the supernatural. Oh God, there'll be a shift. There'll be a burning. There'll be deliverance, whether by application or consumption. Spirit of the living God, we thank you that by faith, many things and miracles will be wrought. In Jesus' name, somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Just lift your hand and say, his blood will carry me. Whoa, oh, oh, the way. Lift the next hand and said, His blood will carry me. Whoa. and say his blood will carry me hand in your neighbor's hand cognizant of the time I'm learning to be cognizant of the spoiling times I don't want to mess it up but the anointing is upon my life I rather hold it I rather hold it 
Put your hand in your neighbor's hand and say, neighbor, his blood will carry me. Minister Doman, there's a power, there's an anointing in my right hand. But he can't work within this falling time because my gone past the time. But there's a right hand. Let me put it on your servant of God. Shako da bo sata da bahaya. Ribandi a kesatoria. Ribandi my kosataya. Riki a satai. Shantara Makutaya, Limanda Makosataya, Lacrimai, Shantara Makota, Ramoketanaba. Wave your hand over this. Wave your hand over this place, everybody, and shout a hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout a hallelujah.
Come here, Sister Andrea. Come here. Sister Andrea. Come here quickly, quickly. are in the belly of gall meaning where you are at bitterness surrounds you but it appears sweet but upon the authority of the Holy Ghost this same anointed right hand I put it upon you and I declare that no weapon, no weapon, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rise against you in judgment shall they be condemned. Father, I present your daughter to you. And I pray, Heavenly Father, that another edge will be built around her. God, you have set us as a watch over your people. So whatever is taking place in the dark rooms and in the realms of darkness, for to disturb and uproot and counteract, derail and destroy whom you have chosen and appointed, we counteract it. And as the preacher says right now, we spin the key of binding. We spin the key of tying up. We spin the key of locking up. That everything that is promulgated or fabricated or orchestrated against you and your advancement will lock down such orchestration. We lock down We lock down, we lock down, and we declare that's the power, that's the anointing. Now, somebody worship God in this house. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Somebody say Jesus. 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 Show the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ, spalling your so synergy if it so suddenly happen. Come on, come on, come on, take your mind off a yard, take your mind off of the clock, take your mind off something else, and let the glory of God. Jesus in the name of Jesus we declare a blood coverage in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I declare in the name of Jesus God has appointed you as a manager of NCB, you're going to fulfill it in the name of Jesus. 
every assignment, every plot, every derrick, every assignment, we render them powerless. We send you back as our sister under the blood. Walk in your office under the blood. Shout under the blood. Every evil schemes and orchestrated plans, we render them powerless. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout with the sister. Somebody shout with the sister. Somebody shout with the sister, no man. Somebody shout with the woman of God. I'm gifted with a deliverance ministry. But sometimes I can't get enough space and room to work. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come here, Sister Marcia, weathers. To you, the two Marcia, come here. Sister, sister, sister God. Jesus Christ. Me know why you walk, I run, me why you run, come to me. Oh Jesus, when you reach yes or no? Into it newness, new beginning, new season, next level, a new level, new appointment in the name of Jesus Christ, Spirit of the living God. I pray for these your daughters that your hand will be upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. Thanks for your touch. Thanks for your deliverance. Thanks for your ministering angels. Thank you, God, that you have now showed up. And you'll be showing up for them hereafter. Put them under the blood and under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Send them forth. In Jesus' name. There's an anointing, there's an anointing that is flowing upon me. Oh, the Bakusha told you about higher. Oh, God Almighty, hold your hand. Jesus Christ, let me anoint your hands. Shoot up a Hatoria. Woman, thou art lost. Thou art lost. 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 Thank you for the touch, the transforming touch, the restoring and renewing touch. Thank you, Lord, that you continue to work your purpose out in the lives of your people. In Jesus' name. Ah. Worship, church, worship. Ah. Thank you, Jesus. 
we lift our hearts cover the social workers touch them again Lord prepare them for the task the intervention processes thank you for the cases that they will be able to attend to in an effective way cover them in their going out when they rise when they sit down Lord cover them Lord pray God that their mind will be intact psychologically Lord God you'll keep them as they administer their skills as they carry out their various functions roles and responsibilities I pray for tolerance I pray for patience I pray for understanding and I pray God that you lead them to victory to success in the name of Jesus Christ Amen sing that song one more time as we get ready to depart Clap your hands and give God a praise.